this video, we have another core flow that has been consistently ranking among the top five revenue generators in our clients' accounts. It's part of the core flows that every store needs, and as the name suggests, it targets customers who browse the product and bounce right off the site before doing anything else. Stay tuned for another step-by-step -step guide where I'll help you set up your own browse abandonment flow in minutes using our simple method. But first, hit that like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned all the way to the end of this video for a bonus doc containing subject lines, preview text, email examples, and more that will help you take this flow to the next level. For those of you who are new to this channel and the series, hi, I'm Nate and I run Savio Agency. And this video you're watching is part of our free masterclass where I'll be sharing the simple tactics that made our clients millions in email and SMS marketing revenue. Ready to dive in deeper? All the video lessons are just a click away. You'll find a link in the description box down below or you can hit this card right there. How does the browse abandonment flow fit in your customer journey? As always, let's start by understanding which part of your e-commerce store funnel fits the browse abandonment flow. As you can see, it's one of the very first touch points after signing up on your pop-up, and it's a crucial part in your trust building process that specifically target your new subscribers. It also works for your repeat customers who have viewed a product but did not proceed to edit to their cart or start the checkout process. How does it work? Let's say a current subscriber lands on your product page, either from an ad they saw on social media or perhaps when they search the product on Google. They proceed to browse around your product page and then bounce off the site. That's when the browse abandonment flow gets triggered. And in the browse abandonment flow, we'd like to number one, offer a gentle reminder of the product they viewed. Number two, educate your customer to encourage return visits. Number three, offer value through discounts or special offers. To ultimately turn interested product viewers to excited buyers for your store. How to set it up. Believe it or not, setting up the browse abandonment flow is easier than you think, especially the way we do it here in Savio. To get started, first make sure that the Klaviyo snippet is up and running on your site. Click on the integration tab in the bottom left corner and see if the Shopify integration is turned on. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't set it up yet, we'll guide you through the process in our Klaviyo account setup video. I'll provide the link below for you. Now let's navigate to the Shopify integration and double check the little checkbox here is ticked. This step is important because it activates the view product tracking on your site, which in turn triggers the browse abandonment flow in Klaviyo. Open Klaviyo and let's build the framework for your browse abandonment flow. In Klaviyo, look for the flow section. Click the create flow button to start a new flow. Look up the browse abandonment flow. I will go with this one here. Now it's time to name it. You can follow the naming guideline we use at Savio to keep things nice and organized in your account. Or just use browse abandonment. That will do it too. Now for your trigger. The beauty with setting it up this way is that this flow is almost 90% ready to go. It has the view product metric in place as well as most of the flow triggers and the dynamic blocks. We'll explain all of those to you in just a second. Moving on to the filters, these are the ones you want to start off with. Checkout started zero times since starting this flow, placed order zero times since starting this flow, has not been in this flow in the last 30 days. You can test between 7 to 30 days here depending on your store's traffic, product prices, etc. And you can also add the added to cart metric to your flow, but only if this metric is already installed in your account. If not, go check out our abandoned cart video on how to set it up. This is what your flow filters should look like at the end. Each of these flow filters ensures you're only targeting the right product browsers. You can check on customers who qualify to receive this flow by clicking here. In this case, this customer doesn't qualify to receive this flow since they have received it already in the last 30 days. Let's keep digging here. This one, however, does qualify to receive this flow. You can see that all the boxes check for them. Now for the time delay. Generally, for the browse abandonment flow, you can experiment for a window between 30 minutes and 4 hours to maximize impact. That's it for the framework, now let's move on to the content. We've got lots of top email examples, subject lines, and preview text lined up for you coming up shortly, but we need one more thing to complete the technical setup of this flow. The reason why the browse abandonment flow is one of the most profitable flows for your store is because it lets you connect with potential customers who viewed a specific product offering relevant content 
to convert sales. And it's all thanks to the dynamic block. Remember when I said this pre-made flow is almost 90% ready to go? And we've got a little shortcut for you. Copy and reuse the dynamic block instead of creating it from scratch. Clavio inserts this dynamic block in this email displaying the exact product viewed by your customers. It's like magic, turning your email from random to fully customized with one simple step. All you need to do is go to the first email, click on edit. You can preview the email real quick to see what I was referring to. Go here and save this dynamic block. Do the same with the button as it contains the URL or syntax to take them back to the exact product they browsed. This is what the URL should look like. If you got the wrong URL or syntax like I have in my example, here's a quick fix here to obtain it. Go to the dynamic product block you just saved, click here to access it, and you'll find the right link here. Perfect, copy it and paste it under the button. Now name it and save it. Congrats, you can drag it to any future browser abandonment emails, change the design, and you're good to go. This method saves you tons of time, so you don't have to create a dynamic block from scratch each time or risk creating it the wrong way if you're not super technical. Now to the moment we've all been waiting for. Let me show you some real browser abandonment examples, subject lines, preview text, and so much more inside of our internal agency doc to help you jumpstart this flow for your store. All right, guys, so I'm super pumped to share with you our very own internal agency document that we use to craft our clients browse abandonment emails. This is how we're able to craft beautiful and highly converting emails pretty quickly. You can see you have a lot of information here in this document. You have our formula for A-B testing your emails to ensure they're optimized for maximum profits, more insights about this series. Here's what you should focus on for the different emails in this series, as well as battle-tested subject lines and preview text from our clients and from top DTC brands. So without any further ado, let's jump in to see some examples. What you'll see in common between all these emails is this block right here. This is what we call the dynamic block. Okay, and all these emails will have this dynamic block. This is just a gentle reminder of what was the product your customer viewed in your store, right? And then you can couple this with anything you'd like. You can give a discount for first time browse abandoners. You can give more information about shipping, guarantees, warranties, more information about your products, maybe a form to ask you any questions they may have. You can feature your best sellers, the features and benefits of your products reviews now for the second email you can also include a discount but more importantly you want to tackle any questions that your customers may have or help them pick and choose their products in this example we incorporate a quiz and after answering a few questions they'll know better what product fits their needs and can solve their problem here we included some more examples from top direct-to-consumer brands so you can get started right away to craft your browser abandonment emails. Even if you just start off with one or two emails inside of this flow, this is a flow you'll consistently see inside of your top five revenue generators if done the way we showed you in this video. Are you ready to take a slightly more direct approach and take those abandoned carts all the way through checkout? Go check out our next video on how to do just that. If you found this video helpful, it's part of our comprehensive SMS and email marketing masterclass. It's 100% free. I'll put a link down in the description. Go ahead and check it out right now. Please give us a like and subscribe to my channel for more Clavio tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.